so I've been playing around with modded Morrowind a little bit, um, adding a few more mods. I've picked up like some of your basic crafting mods and stuff for Morrowind, but I decided, you know, since I've got like all these cool crafting mods and stuff in it, and now in addition to a couple furniture mods, so like, you know, you've got the crafting table that lets you craft some armors out of leather and stuff. Someone made some other mods. You've got merchants for like your wooden stuff to let you build furniture and whatnot. Um, I was looking at a mod that allows you to build cantons and stuff. Well, so what I did is I decided to add in my own armor mod and add in a merchant. And I mean, you know, I just decided, you know, hey, I think spell making fits for this situation. But um, the items that he sells are armors that I've kind of like put together. So like you, so you do need blood moon for this. So this will require both tribunal and blood moon because blood moon relies on tribunal. But if you've got the coin, you can buy like. The Abusive Left Gauntlet, you can buy an Aqueous Helmet that lets you breathe underwater. You can buy a Charming Right Pauldron that increases, like, fortifies various personality skills and personality itself. You've got the Flying Britches, which, I mean, lets you levitate, because, you know, you can see the levitation thing going on. The Hardy Cuirass that basically fortifies a bunch of things like against disease your willpower and whatnot not too expensive i swear you know these are pretty easy to mass produce in china um you've got the jesus boots that do water walking you've got night vision helm which are basically you know night vision goggles who why is that not useful um you've got the precise right gauntlet which basically increases your marksmanship and accuracy for certain things where that's needed and you've got the smart left pauldron which increases your brain cell size and the sneaky right gauntlet which um basically increases your ability to break into things and to break things out of people's pockets um some of the cl there there are some quirks with morrowind um, when it comes to clothing equipment. So as much as I would like to have the white Colovian fur helm, he decided he wants to sell it instead. And the wolf right gauntlet somehow snuck in. So I might figure that out later on or see what's up. But yeah, for the most part, it's all custom enchanted items that are sold. Um, you do need to gather some coin for it. So, like, if I selected this one, you can see I don't quite have the coin for it. But it's basically right there. Um, I think, for the most part, the armor ratings are okay-ish. Some of them might be... Yeah, some of them are up a little high. But, I mean, other than that, they are pretty halfway decent. Um... But yeah, yeah, come, come, come check out my merch, come buy my merch from in Balmora, you know, compatible with like these crazy crafting mods because I put him over here and he's levitating. Speak freely. So he's wearing them flying britches, but yeah.